Hello, this is Mr. C, and this is just going to be a quick little tutorial on how to apply some filters to photos in Photoshop. Uh, it's for grade six. And the first thing you're going to want to do is have your photos ready for importing. So you can see I've placed mine here on the desktop. I've selected three for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all, but I just want them, them ready just in case if I do. And we're going to open up Photoshop. If it's not located down here in your dock, simply go up to your spotlight here, start typing in Photoshop, and it'll be this one here with the blue icon. Yours might have another option, uh, something related to Windows, uh, but please make sure it is this one with the PS icon. So we're just going to double click that to open. And your document, or sorry, your application might open something like this, and you have some tools down here on the left and additional ones up here at the top and some more over here off to the right. Uh, you might have Photoshop version 6 on your laptop. Uh, if that's the case, don't worry too much. It's pretty much the same. Just so that we're all equal though, I'd like you to go up to Window here and you click on Workspace and make sure your Essentials or Default has been selected. And you'll notice each of these tools also have items like this. And if these are closed, you have these little triangles here where they could be expanded. So you just need to make sure that you have your layers, uh, and that's pretty much all you're going to need today. If you, if this is in a two-column view, you simply click these little triangles here to change it to uh, your preference. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get our photos within Photoshop. There are a few ways to do this. Uh, the simplest and the fastest way is uh, I'm clicking here is my desktop. Uh, there's nothing here within Photoshop. If yours open with a new document. Uh, don't worry about that, just click here in the empty space. I'll do that again. So there's nothing here within Photoshop, so I'm, that's my desktop, and I click that and Photoshop kind of disappears and I can access my desktop. And I'm just going to click this photo, hold the click, and drag it over the Photoshop icon, and it'll import in for me. Okay, so it's, it's right there. And the, the window or the document size will most likely automatically fit to the size of the photo. So I'm also going to do the other one here. Just drag that over. So you see I have two open here. I'll do this one first. Uh, you'll notice that in the layers it comes out here and it's it's locked. We can still edit that, it'll be fine, but I'm going to unlock mine. To do that I just double click and I'll just put in a title of building or something, click OK, and you see the lock is gone. And what, one thing that you might want to do to save you some time in, clay, in case you want to apply multiple filters to the same photo is make a duplicate of this photo so you kind of have the original to go back on. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to click and hold this and I'm just going to drag it just over this little icon here which is create a new layer and I let go and it makes a copy. So what I can do, I can turn this one off and just use this one. This one is highlighted in blue so that's the one that's going to be that the effects are going to be applied to. So to start putting the filters on, we select that layer that we want to use, and I'm just going to go up here at the top where it says filter, and all of these things here are just some filter effects that you can apply to. So all I would encourage you to do is just start experimenting with them, just clicking, see how they look. You'll get a pane like this that opens. Some of the effects also has uh, several options within it, and whenever you choose one that you do like, you might have some additional sliders here to control how it looks with the preview. If you like it, click OK. If you don't, you click Cancel. So I kind of like this one. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to turn this one off. You now you see there's nothing. I'm going to go back to the original, the building. I'm going to make a copy of this one again because I want to put another filter on it. Turn that one off. Make sure it's highlighted blue. You see if you click this one. Let's try, I'll show you. If we click this one, you see no options are showing for me because it's uh, been turned off. So click that one again, go back up to the filter, and just try experiment with the ones that you do like. And we can even see what it looks like within here. And play with these again if you wish.
click OK, and I kind of like that one. So now what we need to do is we need to take these two photos that we've done, and we need to save them as JPEGs. So I'm going to go to the first one, and I'm just going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save As, and I'll just call it Building Red Blue. And it's already, my desktop has already been selected. If this is all closed for you, you simply click this arrow. And the format, we're going to change to a JPEG. And then we just click Save. And image quality is, for our purposes, high or medium is fine. And click OK. And I'll click here back to the access the desktop. And you'll see the photo is right there. So I'm going to go back, because remember we had two photos, so now I'll do this one. Same thing, we're going to go to File, Save As, and I'll call it Building Black White, change the Photoshop to JPEG, and click Save. And I'll just leave that one as high, and you'll see the photo is there. Okay? And you see I have another one here that I did previously. I would then take this photo and I would put it in iPhoto and perhaps play with my cropping. See if what would it look like if I did a tighter crop to make it further abstract. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So good luck.